Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, it's uh, Sunday the 15th of September, been a glorious day, I've been doing some fence painting, um, or at least finishing a little bit of fence painting, and I thought I'd have a look at my pineapple guavas to see how they're uh, coming in, coming on. <clears throat> now this one here is the variety Triumph, and the reason I'm having a look is I'm just wondering if I'm actually going to get some edible fruit this year that ripen. These are, I suppose, well, half the size of my thumb, I guess, bigger than a thumbnail. Must be over an inch long. I've only got two, I've only got two fruits on this Triumph plant, but they're not a bad size for the middle of September. The question is, are they going to grow large enough to actually get to a size where they would then ripen on the plant and be edible? Um, my large pineapple guava, which is uh, an unnamed plant or variety, is actually fairly covered. It's got a lot of fruits on it. Look, I'll just show you some of them. Now, most of them, there's quite a large quantity around the plant in various places. The question is, is it a variety that produces, look, let me show this one here, it's probably about the largest one, about an inch, but it's probably got about, uh, well, it may have between one and two dozen fruits on it, which are about... Uh, probably about an inch across. Now the, I said the only problem I can find with pineapple guavas is it may well be that we don't get enough warm weather between now and sort of the end of October for them to swell to an edible size and then ripen. But because um, the problem with them being this small is I don't know, there was a plane flying over, a plane flying overhead. I've no idea if they will actually soften and sweeten when they're so small. Most of the ones that I've seen, you know, people eating online or when I bought some recently, they were probably about three inches long. So uh, these are way, way smaller than that. So it will be interesting to see. As you can see, there's quite a few hidden away on it. It will be interesting to see if they carry on growing in the next month and get to an edible size. Um, my final plant's mammoth had one flower on it this year which has set again that's an oval shaped like an egg shaped one but that's only well it's not even an inch long it doesn't seem to be swelling much so uh, obviously I'll keep an eye on things and keep people updated but I'm, I'm pleased to have had some fruit set on it just uh, not as big as I was hoping they were going to be but I think it's probably because we had quite a cool um, quite a cool sort of late July and uh, August wasn't very warm either so it hasn't encouraged the fruits to grow much but the plant itself is looking fabulous as you can see it's getting on for it's in a raised border but it's still probably about five feet tall and I'll prune it back lightly this winter um, once the fruits have fallen off it um, but that was just an update on my pineapple guava this is growing here in the UK in the southeast of the UK um, just outside London so we were fairly about the mildest part of the country and fairly dry as well but um, still pleased with the progress and uh, hopefully next year next year we'll get a lot of flowers on all three plants and then more likelihood to fruit setting a little bit earlier in the season anyway that's the video for now you're welcome to um, like and share if you wish to um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and uh, hit the bell if you want further updates to see next month if any of these get to an edible size <clears throat> Thanks for listening. It's Brett out for now. Catch you in the next video.